Oh, ho, 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 ho. Merry Fishmas. I am the Grinch you may know as Z. And today is not Christmas. Don't worry. Daddy's home. Because Daddy's home and it's not Santa. Because Daddy's going to be kissing Mommy. That's right. This is Our Reviews Will Kill You, and this is the special, special holiday, futuristic party podcast that you've come to know and love. I am joined by he who brings joy and peace to all the boys and girls, Baby Santa Yoda, or Santa Baby Yoda, your call, but he's here with us, he brings the joy. But you know who brings no joy and just misery to all? That's Noob Noob. No, oh, piglet fuckers. <laughs> I don't know. I had you to, got nothing? Oh, no, I had something. I just... Uh, you, you tried to bait me into it. Oh, man. You. You're, 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 you're still trying. My, oh, my. Oh. What a beautiful day. Oh, no. And then, uh, on top of all that, we have what I would best refer to as the sentient tree... He also brings the Yule Tide joy, Scott Keebler. Well, ho, ho, ho to all my hoes out there. The trees come to life, and it is every season for every year. We are actually not live with you, but through the magic of Christmas, we are live with you, as the show may be recorded, but we are in the chat with you, talking to you that are with us live. So thank you once again for joining us, and of course, if you're listening on the podcast, we do enjoy having you with us every single time. For sure. For joy. For the spirit of Christmas. I I look, I gotta do something about it. <laughs> <laughs> you need a, How's this? is your where is your star i don't have the, the star it's it's there's no stars here we're not famous you enough. are the star we're not oh, famous okay. enough to have stars really will you find the way the way. way fun do way you're just gonna bait me this entire episode absolutely okay 100 we'll, we'll, we'll do those see if i can do this hold on there you go How's oh Ooh, jingle go. beard Maybe I should have called you Scott Jinglebeard. Jinglebeard, you look that's like right. The I like Swamp Thing. I can go with, <laughs> I can like go with Swamp Thing <laughs> invaded Christmas. Swamp, swamp Tree. Look, I'm all sparkly. I oh, you look geez. like the Swamp Thing for, who forgot to nail his balls. I want to know <laughs> what happened over on your side. I did lights and decorated and everything else. And, and what's going on over there? Just nothing. What do, you, what do you mean? I got my Christmas sweater, my fancy. Nope, oh, wrong way. Fancy necklace. Bah humbug. Yeah, he's glowing. My, uh, my hat says Bah Humbug. There you go. Because yeah. I am the Grinch known as Z. All right. Well, so uh, we, we should have talk our Christmas this, pickle. We should have talked about this before, but we didn't. Do we have any housekeeping this week? Probably. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's going to be some sort of fancy uh, Baby Yoda giveaway and Mandalorian giveaway that we will announce a winner at some point. Yes. When we decide what the contest so is. That's going on. Yeah. We still have to figure the contest. We actually know we have already figured out the contest before. And you guys already know about it at this point, and you've already subscribed to the contest, and we hope that you win. And I'll do what I can to get it to you before Christmas actually happens. We're not we're not live right now, because I'm actually somewhere else right now. I'm working a job in space out and time. there in space and time. That's why we're not with you right now, but you know we still you are doing what we can to be with you as much as we can. Currently on a ventilator in the hospital with COVID. Yes, <laughs> that yes. is where Scott currently. That yes, that's, is. that is quite the possibility, but uh, why don't we just go ahead and noob noob? What do we have going on tonight? We do actually have one bit of housekeeping that oh, okay. I want to remind people of. Uh, we we do have a second YouTube channel at this point. Oh boy. Yes, and uh, for those of you who don't have time to watch the show, and maybe you just listen. Maybe you're one of our amazing audio podcast listeners like me, right? I watched or I listen. I subscribe to Joe Rogan podcasts. You know, I listen, but I never watch his YouTube show. So, but I do watch JRE clips. So we now will bring to you or Q clips where you can catch some of the best tidbits of the show. Maybe some of our funny short sketches and uh, little comedy things over there. Maybe some some controversial stuff. You'll you'll see and uh, check it out. And uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to that as well. More subscriptions. Just keep subscribing. 
Yeah, and and by now it's sort of figured out, and you know how to get there. And we told you multiple times now how to get there, so do enjoy that. Although the new channel is called Orc Clips, and if you look in our additional channels, you'll find it there. Oh, it's connected to our original channel. It's yeah, we're all sorts of connected. We're we're yeah, to we're, the mob. We're ever expanding, much like my waistline. <laughs> oh, Not after COVID, you're going to lose some weight. <laughs> get get ready for a crash diet, there, Scott. That's that's the only reason I'm getting it. <laughs> so what are we doing today uh, Christmas Christmas just Christmas just, just, not even the holidays just Christmas no the holidays aren't real it's just Christmas oh are you so you're saying that you will not allow them to cancel your Christmas yeah we're not canceling Christmas cancel Hanukkah or something else not Christmas do not wait so they're allowed to cancel Hanukkah sure that seems not accurate. there's no Hanukkah clause wait is there a Hanukkah clause there's a Hanukkah bush ha- wait what yeah, absolutely. Like an actual bush? Yeah. That mm-hmm. doesn't. There's also Kwanzaa. What's that? Is there a Kwanzaa Christmas? There's clause? definitely Kwanzaa a clause? patron saint of Kwanzaa. Who is he? I don't know. Uh, but either way, no. are, <laughs> we'll celebrate Christmas today with you. What you're already ruining. We're, we're going to do some some fun traditional things. I think we're going to react to a video. We are. Maybe we'll sing a song for you. You're going to get some Christmas cream in your mouth for the first time. We're going to talk Christmas about Christmas cheer. Yeah, we're going to talk about some of the the craziest and maybe worst or best Christmas traditions that there are to offer in the world. We're also reviewing Christmas movies. We we did all the hottest newest Christmas movies right before Christmas. You're going to get to get to hear us talk about them. Hopefully you watch them. Maybe you don't. Yeah. Do we are we saying what they are right? Oh now? yeah, what are oh, they? I don't know. The Lego Star Wars. Oh yeah, Lego Star Wars Christmas special. That that was a thing. That's I a, watched ugh. Holiday on Netflix. That's adorable. <laughs> I think uh, you watch what Christmas Chronicle. Two I watch Christmas with, Chronicle uh, too. Elves. I smoke some Christmas and Chronicle too. Scott ate Christmas cookies. No, he uh, know, watched Fat Man. Thing for me, and I watched Fat Man with Mel Gibson. Is that a Christmas movie? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Is it really? Mm-hmm. For sure. Is he? I like the premise of it, but Scott will have to tell us more. I will tell you more when we get to that. But first, I guess we'll call this our news segment. Sure. News. (laughs) That's a who likes good news, everyone? (laughs) Not even Christmas related. It's not even. It's oh, just oh, news. That's our standard news segment. Look, I put a lot of time and effort into <laughs> other doing... things. I'm dressed like an effing tree. I think that I get yeah. a pass on our transitions. But it's not, what's the news? It's not even news. Is there it's news you have news. to tell no, us? No, there's news. Christmas. It's Christmas It's Christmas, stuff. Christmas lists. It's right. our lists. So is it our Christmas our wish list? Our list of Christmas. Yeah, we're, we're about to get into the, some of the Christmas things that just need to go, and I'm, I'll start out strong and say that the Mariah Carey Christmas song needs to go. What are you talking about? It's like the greatest it's the best song no, ever. No, the train Christmas song. Is it song all is I need song. for Christmas is you? Look, is that all I want for Christmas there is, is you. There is a section in there for this. We'll get to that with the music section. We'll, we'll touch on that, but let's get started on that. Noob Noob, do you have the information for the author? And where this list originated from. Oh, no, he has no idea. I have nothing. No. Nope. Open your stupid laptop, dummy. Oh, my God. Dum Dum is not a good fact checker. In fact, we proved today that he is the worst I'm fact the checker best on fact Earth. Checker. Oh, my laptop does. Nope, so, not even close. So, this is from Best of Life. These are the 25 worst Christmas traditions of all time. This article is written by Bob Larkin. <laughs> He can't even log into his own computer. Ugh. He mistyped a password like three times. <laughs> this is so bad. These 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 terrible holiday traditions definitely belong on the naughty list. Do they though? I'm gonna we might have to fight on this. I don't know. I mean, we are gonna have a conversation. We're gonna go through this, and I do believe that we're gonna have to call out and why this author is an idiot and doesn't know what he's talking about. Although I did not catch this. This list is from 2017. Oh, uh, matter that yeah, doesn't matter christmas it's, doesn't change it's from what's his face what's his name you're not going to dead name the guy come on andy williams yes no, no. Was it andy, Rob andy williams andy williams was the guy who sang the most wonderful time of oh the year. bob larkin <laughs> you're the worst you can't even read he's trouble reading Good old no. bobby bobber because he doesn't have a second screen over here for him to see as well bob as in william he's looking at this the main william screen. larkin but is he, else he could look at but is he really looking at it i don't know what he's looking at Okay. 
<laughs> what are, are, we, are we going in yeah, order? Just get, go yeah, ahead. So what's one? Well, tied. Well, number one is ugly Christmas sweaters, which is which not you're a, already wearing one. Yeah, that's not a bad tradition. Why and I ha- and I ha- and I had a great Christmas sweater on last week. Which someone stole it. Is in the future, but was last week because of time travel. Christmas magic. Mm-hmm. The the or, magic of or, Christmas. Or two weeks ago, I had a two weeks ago I had an ugly Christmas sweater on as well. So there, I had multiple times I was wearing ugly Christmas sweaters in the future that is now the past. But I love cr- ugly Christmas sweaters. But my ugly Christmas sweaters aren't necessarily just Christmas. It's not reindeers and Santa. I got other stuff too. I mean, it's I don't own one, so I don't know what you're talking about. And they're fun. But par- I have no objection, despite the fact that I do not own one. And they're fun parties. They're a good excuse to have a party where it's mostly adults and bibing in. Liquored up eggnog. Mm. Ugly Christmas sweater parties are fun. They always have been. This guy already off to number one is off to never a bad been start. to one. I've never been to one, and I don't own one. You've never been to a Christmas orgy party? No, I have not. Just Christmas? Halloween orgy parties. And, well, Christmas not orgy even. parties are also. You've had fun. orgy parties though. I've had orgy parties, but mostly n- in other holidays, but not Christmas. Like what holiday constitutes an orgy? Oh, his, usually Halloween. His Christopher I asked Col- of Halloween. Oh, sorry. I wasn't listening to you. His oh Christopher God. Columbus orgy is actually fantastic. I suggest you go. Columbus Day orgies? Yes. I'm pretty you- sure I'm more interested in, in, in Indigenous People's Day. Thank you, Scott. I was going to say, didn't Christopher Columbus rape and canceled. pillage Indians or something? I don't know. Well, and, and then, of course, and of course, there's the Labor Day orgy, which actually the orgy itself happened nine months before. That. I would have thought your favorite orgy day would have been Arbor Day, but what just is Arbor saying. Day? He's a tree. I'm a tree. He likes to rub his wood. Arbor Days what? is trees. Um, it's noob trees. noob. Oh my God, God, you're a genius. What's next? Uh, elf on a shelf. I don't even know if that's a like. You what, don't even know what that is. I don't know what that means. I would have thought, considering you look an awful lot like an elf on the shelf, that you would know what it is. is I don't even know. It, it, it wasn't sinister enough that Santa knows when we're sleeping and when we're awake. See, now he sends an elf to live in our house for a whole month and watch us creepily. That's what it does. See, the and then you're is, supposed to move it around. The problem is, even though Noob Noob's an elf, he doesn't really fit on any shelves. There's not one that supports his weight. No, he fits in curio cabinets. Wait, so the tradition is you get a little elf and you just move him around your house? Yes. Wow. It's because he's watching the children's. Although this year, all the par- all the parents got a reprieve. With the first two weeks of Elf on a Shelf, you just put him in a jar. Because, of course, the elf has to quarantine for two weeks before he's allowed around your oh, house. Oh, well, that makes it less creepy. Oh, my God. Let's just add to the creepiness, right? <laughs> elf, elf, elf on a Shelf is something that can go. It's definitely something that a lot of parents, people I know who are parents, not many, but a few, definitely do not care for that tradition. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't. Even it only sense. happened like ten or twenty years ago. Like it's not even like a long time tradition. No, actually, it, it's a tradition started with Instagrammers because they had to post every day what their elf was doing, and they had to do these super elaborate. Oh, it's around before that. Super, yeah, super. Well, no, yeah. no, but that's when it got big. Is they had to do these big super elaborate things where like here's the elf getting run over by a lawnmower, and here's the mm. elf tied up in Christmas strings, and here's the elf what? trying to hang Santa with a noose. Like, it was yeah. all kinds of stupid shit, and people had to, like, one-up each other with the elf on the shelf. Yeah, now people are just depressed. <laughs> <laughs> elf hanging now, itself now, off the shelf. Now everyone just wasn't depressing enough. It wasn't depressing enough. So, the next one, I don't even know what it is. Uh, I want to make sure I pronounce this correctly. <laughs> this it is a good struggle for you. Figgy pudding. Not... Not fudge. Pudding. I have no comment on figgy pudding. Not, I don't know what it is. I Neither do fi- I. I don't know what figgy pudding is either. I think it's All English. Right, so it's from we, England. We can it, pass. If we wish you a Merry Christmas is to be believed, figgy pudding is so delicious that carolers demand that dessert at every house they visit. Okay. I, it's mostly booze. Okay. Hold on. Hold on now. I, I don't know what figgy pudding is. Another one I heard it was like meat pie. Have you heard of this? No. Apparently, needs that. meat pie is another holiday thing, I guess. I. Yeah, I've never had any of these, so I can't comment on it either. I'm going to look up what figgy pudding but recipe if figgy is. Pudding's filled with booze, but if <clears throat> figgy pudding's filled with booze, I'm game. I mean, I'm good with Warm that. Warm stick figgy pudding? <laughs> but it's not going to be, the booze gets all cooked out, so it's not going to oh. make you drunk. Yeah, so you know what? Never mind. I'll just stick to eggnog. Why not uh, green figgy Christmas pudding? Christmas figgy pudding. Where they put in, you know, a little bit of the herb. That'll oh, there help we you. Go. Now that's legalized. It's not, but sure. It's so Christmas, mostly. 
legalized. Not least. really, but sure. I mean, <laughs> if you go to Portland, you can take magic mushrooms and stuff them right in there. I don't know what you're talking about. I've got all over the place. I mean, I'm, no. I'm half of it's on me. I mean, this is oh. this is not. <laughs> it's pure hemp. This is this is not an illegal substance. I'm having so much trouble with this stupid fucking. Thing. It is a hemp tree. Well, this freaking hemp tree is yanking my freaking headphones out. Oh my god, this is. All right, I may actually have a fit before this episode's over. No more. Okay, okay. so there's there's raisins in it. In case well, there wondering. that ends the the discussion. A lot of raisins. Uh, number Santa. four, Secret Santa. That's yeah. I don't really like Secret Santa that much. Yeah, I don't know. Secret I Santa, feel like that's a ripoff. Secret Santa is just something that's forced on people at work, so they have to get into the holiday spirits. Okay. Mm, I, I don't know. My boss is a bit of a, a a grinchy bitch, and he doesn't like to do it. So, I think that's the, that's the only time I've ever come across Secret Santa though was like at a workplace. It's never. Yeah, and it usually like, sucks. and no, drags like everybody down. To do Secret Santas all the time. But those you have a friend suck. group. Wait, if, I, I do if not. You, wait, if you have a friend group that does Secret Santa, then your friends suck, and you need to try and find new ones. Well, what if they just get you presents instead I mean, of a I'm, friend group present? I'm fine with that. What if? But these people are truly your friends. They're going to be able to buy you stuff. They know what to get you. They don't need to pull your name out of a hat to get you something. You know what Noob Noob does? He has a simp group of I girls do. he just simps on and sends stuff to <laughs> and Please then doesn't me. actually get yes. anything back. Not even a $20 present. Noob Noob is the simpy Santa. Oh, yes. my God. He's what so about. He is so mighty and such a. F that's what I. That's what kind of pudding I thought it was. <laughs> um. <laughs> so. So you're talking about sticks? Yes. So sticks that aren't a certain color. So we're gonna be a little racist against uh, green right now, because Christmas trees that aren't green is number five on the list. Who cares? I like. Christmas trees. Well, that we're are not any allowed color. to have white trees anymore because they're no. too supremacist. First off, <laughs> this <laughs> white supremacist trees. <laughs> yes. The artist, th this author is an idiot. I, there's something that started recently. I don't know if it started recently, but now that fake trees are more of a thing, we got a fake tree in my house years ago. I love it. I got tired of going out and cutting down a damn live tree, needles falling over the place, slaughtering those trees, Scott. Out, having to get fire extinguisher freaking bulbs to put on it because this thing lights on fire is going to burn your house down in five Poisoning seconds. Poisoning your cats and dogs. Effing no. trees suck, even though I'm Does dressed that? like one. Yeah, it does. does a real poison, tree poison? Yeah, I've never had a real cat, tree. Like, if you get, but but these fake trees, not only are they super easy, the lights are on, we plug them in, but they have multiple colors. I've seen people, they get a black Christmas tree and they set it up at Halloween and decorate for Halloween. And then yep. they decorate and put turkeys on it for Thanksgiving. And then they have it for Christmas. And it turns into a longer thing that allows them to have this decoration up for even longer. So you don't have this stupid tree just for one decoration, one holiday. You can spread it out through three or four. Hey, Scott's the kind of guy who's just like, lights, put them up all year long. Just leave them up. That's Why great. Not? Why not? Just don't best. plug them in. You don't have to. You don't have to turn them on in July. Just <laughs> oh leave them up. Oh, you're one of those dudes. All Who right. Who cares? I mean, they're not plugged in and running, but they're up there. I mean, I'm not going to climb. I live in a four story house. I'm not what? going up to the top level and putting lights on every year. They're staying up there. I'll plug them in for December. I'll unplug them in January. <laughs> four story mansion. Because I'm rich. No, don't even. Who cares? This four-story, no. five hundred square foot house. Look where five million foot square. Look around me. Do you think I live in a hut? <laughs> Scott Mansion. Oh my That's God. Right. Scott McMansion. Anyway, uh, holiday yeah, but, travel. But you know, wait, 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 yeah, wait, wait, wait. Real fast before oh. we move on. You know what oh. needs to not happen is they are selling this year a tree that snows on itself. <laughs> what? It, what? Is that this, an this, that's an umbrella. On this the tree, this tree, literally bukkakes itself. It has oh, this fake. God. It has this fake snow that it shoots out and then <sighs> gathers in this ugliest umbrella underneath it. Oh, Scott! You know it's a fake snow, dude. Is there any way all of that snow is gonna fall just in that umbrella? Because it's supposed to recycle. It's supposed to like keep blowing it no, around and cycle. No, it's this is the worst idea ever. It is so dumb. It, it is might as well so fill it ugly. with asbestos. I bought four. That's what I think it is. Actually, it's probably like asbestos pieces is what they made the snow out of. This is just a horrible idea that they're selling for almost two hundred dollars. Oh, sweet look, Jesus! Look, look, it's look. not even enough to buy you to half a PlayStation. No, look at look at. I mean, first off, look. Look at that stupid umbrella, upside down umbrella at the bottom, and literally it's an umbrella catching that. Do you really think that thing's gonna catch all of that fake snow? No, it's going everywhere. That stuff's going everywhere. What? And then your cat's gonna get into it, and your cat's gonna die. Here's 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 where maybe it gets, your dog too. Here's where it gets even sadder. It's sold out. Oh jeez, people like are actually Drake buying candle. this stupid thing. 
Just like what? <laughs> There's a, you know, Drake the rapper? Yes. He has a candle that smells like Drake. Oh, just like uh, the girl with goop. Her vagina. Oh, yeah, this candle. candle smells like my vagina. Yeah. So, moist. Did you say moist vagina? Yes. <laughs> Smell like her moist vagina. <laughs> Holy shnikes. Merry Christmas. Only, wow. only after it's burning and the, and the wax Jeez, is wet. Jeez, Scott. I'm, we're going to have to kibosh Scott. Uh, He's so, going off, so off the rails. So these next two are kind of stupid, so we're going to Yeah, holiday, holiday travel. travel. Okay. Why would you ever do that? Does this... Does this author think that like everyone's going to live in the same town their entire lives? And, yes, like, they should. Th maybe the author is Amish. no more travel. Maybe he's I Amish. am the God Emperor. Wait. I demand people only walk. Yeah, maybe it is. Maybe the author is Amish. He doesn't leave his house. He still lives in the same house with his parents, grandparents, kids, stepkids, and neighbors. You have so, no reason to travel, Scott. Stop traveling. I don't. I don't have any reason to travel whatsoever. I stay here in my five story mansion. It's fantastic. <laughs> you um, keep adding with, stories with the, with the lights that are attached to the top and never come down. <laughs> never come down in the shape of an S. What, for what, Scott, what's this guy's gripe? I mean, yeah, travel sucks, but I mean that's the name of the game. That's what happens around the holidays. You do realize we have twenty five of these to get through, Scott? Right? <laughs> We're trying to. Uh... All right, move on then. Okay, this guy's the an idiot. So far, I can tell you, this guy's an idiot. What's next? The Christmas family newsletter. That's not a thing. What is don't that? I've never even gotten one, so that? I don't know what Let's you're see. talking about. I don't know. You're we don't okay. have families, so who knows? Yeah, no. Inflatable decorations. I, again, I those are beautiful and amazing. They're stupid. Yeah, <laughs> you totally don't live with your mother. Um, <laughs> <laughs> inflatable. I enjoy those. The inflatable yeah, decorations. They're, nice. they're a bitch. They I think I have that, why are they that a snowman. Bitch? I have that snowman. In your house? No, at my, my parents' house. Oh. It's got a limp dick carrot nose. Though. I'll tell you what, oh, they so. a limpy here limping carrot nose. But they yeah, do have some they do have some awesome decorations. They got like huge dragons and stuff. Some of the stuff is like really impressive, these inflatable. Yeah, now that the inflatable ones have moved on to Halloween, I, I like the giant dragons. Yeah. I should have bought one when they were like twenty five dollars. Yeah, now, now they're like five hundred. Yeah. yeah. Maybe my, actually, you know what? Maybe back in 2017, before the technology was there, this guy was a bitter piece of shit. But now, I think the decorations, I think the inflatables are cool. Yeah. Give give people something to look at. Just don't your buy lawn. one with a soggy carrot. <laughs> so. Make sure it's got that <laughs> stiff carrot. That, yes. does, that, that snowman does have a limp carrot there in that image. Uh, number nine is any Christmas specials that aren't a Charlie Brown Christmas special. Well, that makes no sense because we're reviewing Christmas movies that are not too shabby. And yeah, Charlie, well, no, they're and saying Christmas specials, the, not the Christmas yearly movies. Ones. So yeah. they're saying Gwen, Gwen Stefani's You, you make, make It, it feel, feel Like Christmas. Christmas. What is that? That sounds know. like a bad idea. Okay, maybe I agree with him there. Does... Is she still alive? She is. She's married to Blake Shelton. I think. Is he still alive? He's a country singer, so no. Okay. I uh, love what they did with Charlie Brown this year, where they monetized it again. So you could only get it on one channel. You need a subscription, and then you could get it on public channel for three days, and then it's available <laughs> again if for rent or purchase. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that also preclude? Uh, what's that movie, The Christmas Story? Like, aren't they saying like, don't? We, we maybe we'll get to that. We'll, we won't go there yet. Yeah. yeah. So number 10 is over romanticizing a white Christmas. So is that just is are bad. they going anti-racist here? Cocaine is bad. Oh, cocaine is bad. Snow is pretty, well, but also it's a huge pain. Also remember this was back in 2017 when we still had snow, but thanks to global warming, it doesn't exist anymore. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. There's snow, there's, snow, it's snow today, there's but snow, that's okay. There's snow in Canada, but not here. In America, we don't like snow here in America, so we it's increase snowed. the temperature of the world so it no longer snows. All right, Al Gore, calm down. So it snowed <laughs> six inches in Pittsburgh, which is across the same state as we Yes. Oh, no, uh, nobody cares case, about in, Pittsburgh. Oh, oh gotcha. God. So fruit cake. Okay, fruitcake. Yeah. And that's not a gay thing. Noob no, uh, it's a fruitcake. That is just right. fruitcake. Noob Noob's Something. a thing that has to go. No. Oh, boy. <laughs> I've never eaten fruitcake, so I, again, have no comment. I, uh, unlike, I have never had fruitcake either. Unlike we should, pudding, I think I may have fruitcake once or twice in my life, but it's not something I remember. What if we do, since we have 8 million YouTube channels now, <laughs> we should do Ork You Cooks instead of Ork You Clips. Uh, we should cook things. Dude, that go. means you just want me to cook you food. Huh? I do. That's, yep. Yeah. Let's not think about that. Ah, uh, yes. Think about the fans. What about Ork You Grills? <laughs> Yeah, or Orky, you whatever's or you rapes. No, without the, that's gonna sucks. No, no. no rape channel. The no rape no. channels. The no the, the no rape channel. The, Do how, it. how about how about noob noob goes to the plexiglass mall Santa? And what I mean by that is Impossible. when they say no, I rape them. 
Uh, yeah, mall Santas. They're they've been always around. What's wrong with mall Santas? Uh, they're just they are there. Hey, I don't yeah. know what this guy's gripe is with mall Santas. <laughs> Scott, uh, have you been a mall Santa? Yeah. Why are you not making the big bucks as a as a mall Santa? Not yet. Not yet. But I do see it in my future. All you gotta do is dye your Dude, your beard gray. Money. Yeah, know, they make right? like sixty G's for one month's worth I don't of work. Think they make that much. Money. Yes, they do. The Actually, real yeah, good ones do. do. The real good, the, the real good ones. Santas. They make it. The there's good, high the, quality Santas. The good ones. Dude, there's like there's a there's whole nose candy Santas. <laughs> Dude, there is a whole conglomerate, like a Santa mafia, where you have to be in it for years. You have to know the right guy. And if you've been there long enough, yeah, you're making the big bucks. And if Dude, not, if you, you're getting if your, you look good enough, you'll yeah. make it. And if not, you're getting your knees broken by another Santa who thinks you've moved in on his territory. Is, is that a new sh- shirt, Scott? Nose candy Santa? <laughs> <laughs> Nose candy Santa. Could Scott be trusted if he made 60 grand in like a two-month period? Mm. Look, you know what? He I'm already not... has a mansion. He doesn't need two. Yeah, he doesn't. He, there's only so many stories before it becomes a skyscraper that he lives yeah. in. Absolutely. Um, but you know what he could buy with sixty grand is underwear as gifts. Just so much underwear. This guy's I, gripe is underwear as gifts. It's practical. What's wrong with that? I, I don't understand what's wrong with practical gifts. If it wasn't for underwear as gifts, I wouldn't own underwear. Well, here's one that's a little weird. Fake fireplaces on TV. Yeah, what about stupid. Yule logs, though? I don't know what a Yule thing is. A What's Yule it? log? Eulogy? No, it's a uh, log that burns in a fire. So it's not just a fireplace. It's a Yule log, specifically for burning. And then uh, Scott will burn his pool log. It's the dead pool log. Oh, oh the that's what poo that log. Is. Yes, the dead, the dead poo. pool log. Oh, bother. <laughs> it's, Did it's, you just say pool? Nothing wrong with having, you know, a log burning on your TV. Who cares? You know what? It's better than these effing Hallmark Christmas movies that everyone's getting shoved down their throats every year. Mm, I love a good thick log. You're you're all supposed to be with family anyway, like talking and celebrating, not watching movies. Put a fire on the TV so people can ignore the TV. It's whatever. Does Piglet count as family? Don't turn the fucking TV on. This guy's this guy's an idiot. I'm not I'm not having I'm not happy with this article so far. What's next? Number 15, he hates sales apparently. (laughs) He hates shopping. He hates saving money. Saving money is terrible. Bruh. I mean, all of it is true. They slash, they up the prices, then slash them. Yeah, it's like all, it's like all bogo, but it's still full price yeah. somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you haven't, you haven't realized that sales in general are a joke and a scam, then you know, bad on you. I mean, bogo is buy one get one. So for those people who aren't ah, in the know, I lost yeah. my head. I lost. I'm losing my head here. Oh jeez. <laughs> This one even. I might agree with. How can you excessively quote you, Elf? Yeah, there's not that much to Tell quote. Tell me a line. Does he have lines? You just scream Santa once. Okay. Uh, Isn't there something says, about coffee? He says dad a couple of times. No, he has a couple good lines, but I've never heard a single person say them. Yeah. You sit on a throne yeah. of lies. <clears throat> yeah, maybe that one. That, I that one am used. a... Cotton-headed I'm, ninny muggins. N- yeah. Ninny Muggin? What? <laughs> Ninny Muggins. I Where don't does, know that that's a thing. <laughs> Where does this guy live? <laughs> he I lives don't. in New York City. Talking nativity scenes, number seven. Talking, oh, no, tacky sucks. nativity scenes. Oh, ta- you said talking. Talking, talking nativity yes. scenes. Well, actually, Baby think, Jesus talks think, to you, people. I think people. a talking nativity scene actually would be kind of tacky. How is that? What's a tacky nativity scene? I, How is baby Jesus tacky? Oh, because he's saying they put Frosty the snowman. Where does this dude live again? Like, beside and, New York well, City? He says Frosty, Mario, and Luigi. You know what? I've seen Mario some, and Luigi. Yeah, I've this seen, dude is I've seen some of those cool. I've seen some cool nat- creative nativity scenes with you know different characters in it and stuff. This I dude's been fun. touching a little too much nose candy. Yeah, yeah. he's on the short bus. Uh, so 18, Christmas Carol. I've never met someone. I've never had anyone Carol. I've met a Carol. I've never had someone Caroling to me, though. I Caroling? I I caroled a Carol one time. Caroling. You sang to a Carol? No, no, I just caroled her. It's when you flip her upside down. And has and anyone actually encountered Christmas carolers? Never. I actually no. went Christmas caroling one time many years ago. We did it what around. Was, the, we, where, where did you just say? We did it around the neighborhood. What were Christmas like, cucking? You, I don't know what word you just said, but cucking. Uh, yes, I went. Well, Christmas cucking is a yearly thing for me. <laughs> Christmas cucking. But you get once, cucked or you go cucking. <laughs> once, once many years ago, we went Christmas carol around the neighborhood. Me and all my buddies we walked around the neighborhood. We were singing OPP. <laughs> Just, uh, knock on doors. I'm here to cuck you. I'm here to cuck you. Can we? Oh, that sounds like a sketch. 
<laughs> that sounds like a sketch. <laughs> Patent pending. Don't steal it. Can we do that? Dude, yes. we, you need to do that, Scott. You have a camera. A Christmas cuck. <laughs> we have to do Christmas. I'm here to cuck you. <laughs> I'm here to cuck you. <laughs> <laughs> There's just one dude shows up. They knock on your door. Ho, Christmas ho, cuck. Ho. Oh, hey, I'm here to cuck your wife. <laughs> that sounds like a, uh, a good sketch. We Go just sit wrote in the it. corner. Oh, my yeah. God. Uh, getting cr dressed up for Christmas dinner. Why would that be bad? Especially uh, if I guess people... like getting dressed up fancy. Maybe? Yeah, but this what is... if you went to church and then went to Christmas dinner? This is no one's only... going to be allowed to see anybody. <laughs> so guess time... what, Scrooge? You can't dress up. Is this the only time half these people get dressed up in the first place? Uh, yeah. That Paul McChris wait Paul McCartney, Paul McCartney Christmas, Christmas song, song, which I I've never heard. Don't know. And we won't be playing for you here. Yeah, a wonderful Christmas. Is he time. still alive? He is alive. Okay. No, it's Watch. that. Is that simply having a wonderful Christmas? That's Paul year. McCartney. That's Paul. Is that Wings or just Paul McCartney? Uh, that's an okay song. That's a good song. I yeah, what is it? It's, it's it's better than Mariah Carey crap coming around. It's not. Oh, but. dude, I can't stand any of the Mariah Carey Christmas. Mm, I, I prefer like I prefer women. that simply having song to any of the Mariah Carey stuff. He prefers Katy Perry. So this author is still he's an idiot. You just want to go nutcracking because apparently watching the nutcracker. Why is that a bad thing? I've never Why watched the nutcracker, do you, maybe you shouldn't? You'd enjoy is that about it. Russians? They probably are. Is this guy? Is this guy like being tied down and forced to watch the Nutcracker? You either Who watch makes it or him you don't. Watch the Nutcracker. Yeah. Why is this, Why is this such a thing for him? You either watch it or you don't. It's not that. Like, He's making this gripe out of all these things. Isn't there like a five-hour version? Like, it's ridiculously long. I don't long. know. So You've don't never seen it, so how would you even I, I, know? I don't know. I, it was referenced in a movie. He once. says you should see it once. Yeah. Uh, number two, fighting about whether to say Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. There's no fighting. It's just Merry Christmas. No, it's Happy Holidays. It's Merry Christmas. It no, it's matter. Happy Holidays. It's it either Christmas or bust. It no, I think it's Happy Holidays. It Be inclusive. Effing matter. Nope. If you want to say happy holidays, say happy holidays. You want to say Merry Christmas, say Merry Christmas. You want to say go fuck yourself, you go fuck yourself. It doesn't matter. that doesn't matter. sound like in the spirit of Christmas. Absolutely. Spirit My of Christmas, Christmas is. It doesn't matter. Oh, jeez. Uh, this one is a little scary because Noob Noob apparently just does this on a daily basis. Hiding the Christmas pickles. Because he likes to talk. Uh, noob, oh, <clears throat> second. He talks. I didn't know there was Christmas pickles. You're, you're a tucker. No, I'm a shower, not a grower. I no, think, grower, ah, look, a now you can see me. Look. <laughs> he, now he turned he the lights on. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> uh, apparently, uh, a Christmas pickle is a holiday tradition. And yeah. you hide it. And, oh, it's a German tradition. Okay. Yeah. So he's down with it now. Yeah, you, hi very you hide it around the, the house. You hide the all schwitzel. <laughs> you just had to go there, didn't you? He you did. Piece of he shit. did. You asshole. You are such a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't gonna curse this whole episode. You made but me no, do it, and he does it. And that's what he Damn does. To you. Dirty. The one thing we martini. learned about Noob Noob is he usually turns around and makes people who don't normally curse curse. Ah, <laughs> uh, you are just garbage human. Uh, oh, was that Worst. an Alex reference? You, no, bitch. you are just a garbage um, human. Office parties. What's wrong with office parties? No, those Usually are the best. Usually people... Uh, Other than that man is clearly a closeted homosexual. <laughs> Don't they photograph their balls at office parties? That's the best. That's when people do the stuff that gets them in trouble and gets talked about all year long. Yes. While Carol, and, while Carol and the Carol never wants you to talk about the caroling that she took in, oh, the, in, the, in the meeting room. Between his ridiculous things and your sexual innuendo, I am not having a good Christmas right this now. This is a oh fantastic God. I'm about to have a worse Christmas. With Maybe you gifts, need to have gifts for the all final. our friends. Oh. Maybe you need to fill your mouth with that final spice of Christmas cheer. Oh. And that's drinking eggnog. God's greatest So gift. I guess I have an admission that yes. I have never tried to my knowledge eggnog. Maybe what? somebody your slipped knowledge? me an eggnog. Were you roofied and had eggnog? Uh, perhaps I have been, but Wait. I do. Noob Noob drank all of his Wait, already. See, we see, were supposed to taste it together. 20 minutes ago, see, I drank how, it. Before you do this, how can you have been on this planet for 49 years and not had eggnog once? So which part of it sounds appetizing? The egg part or the nog part? The cinnamon stick in there. Well, this, <laughs> that the does not seem appetizing. The cinnamon. Look at if you could see this on screen, it's people. Thick. It looks like it's uh, thick with two C's. Horse dick. Is that, wait, wait, wait. Tell me, is that is that sober eggnog or proper eggnog? It's proper. Yeah. It's proper. It's got bourbon in it. It, uh, it has whiskey. Whiskey works. Whiskey, whiskey will yeah. be fun. Yeah. 
ahead. We, we were, go. It told us to put SoCo in there, but I find SoCo to be revol revolting. Nah. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't that. do SoCo. You can do bourbon. I, I like bourbon in mine. Whiskey works as well, but there we go. Z's first eggnog. I'm going to give you a live on-air taste. Do you think also, Baby Yoda? No, he's too young. You've had that. a snake bite before this, so you will shit your brains out. Oh, Jesus. Like. No. No. <laughs> So here we okay, go. Okay, here we go. Live taste test. So I'm going to yeah. go for it. I'm, I'm going for it. He's taking that glass. He's putting oh, it up God. to his lips. He's Get, put, let he's it dribble down, it down your chin. Mm. He has. There we go. We've got a little bit of an eggnog stash there. Oh, this is awful. Is it really? Why, oh, my God. I, Why are you a bitch? <laughs> ugh, ugh. I want this out of my. No. Oh, my it's God. It's got spice after flavors. No, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> spice no. spice after flavors? No, I don't know what's going on in my mouth anymore. Cream. Get this no no more in my mouth. Oh my god! I wish I had something to wash this down with. Ugh. We could. Who drink? Oh, who drinks that? I don't know. I like. You it. drink it. Finish it. Chug it. Yeah. Chug a lug. Look, noob noob's gonna shit chug on a lug. It's on you. So there. So there we have oh. it. Oh. Ugh, not a fan. Why? Why? It's too. Th it's so thick. And, oh my god! It ruined my glass. It's all like coated with. Ugh. Oh, that's separated. Oh, oh yeah. That's separated. Oh. Oh. oh, oh no. Oh, that's it, why. No, mix that back together a little bit and make it oh. warm. You know, he just chugged it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh. Yeah, all the flavors come to you in separate flavors. Oh. There you go. Oh, oh, it's been sitting out in the warm in this warm uh, mm. podcast studio you for ruined the past it. The, twenty the, minutes. The first time Z ever tries eggnog, oh. and it's oh. a separated pos that's been sitting out getting warm. Oh god. <laughs> Wow. wow. I, was go I, I was tempted, Scott. I was going to bring Jägermeister as way, a palate cleanser. Way to that screw that up. Well. I can't believe you screwed that up. The first eggnog that, tasting of Z ever. Oh, it's disgusting. And he didn't even have it properly mixed. Fissure. Oh, heavy, so cream bad. laden holiday drink. Is icky enough as it is, at least most store bought varieties are pasteurized. Oh, geez. Oh, that's because it has raw eggs in it or something? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. This is ultra pasteurized, by the oh, way. Oh, they need to pasteurize it some more off of this earth. Uh, that was not proper eggnog. That was oh, disgusting. Oh, that was vile. Well, there yeah, we go. No. You know what? I guess I guess the next week, which will be last week or the week before that, I don't know. Time travel is a difficult thing to understand. We should get Very Z difficult. some proper eggnog for him to try. Oh, but maybe it needed ice or something. Yeah, so like it like separate. make it make it right before the show. We'll open with that, so it hasn't sat there and separated for forty <sighs> minutes. Uh, at least I'm not alone in thinking that was vile. So no, was all right, maybe we'll give eggnog one more shot. We'll give someday. it, we'll give it another, another shot, and you'll have known that other shot and how that went two weeks ago. No, it's like burning <laughs> my teeth. Uh, don't worry, well, what's doing... going on here? My teeth are on fire. Oh my God. Uh, God. Uh, so that completes our list. So we go into reviews. We are going to oh, Christmas reviews. We're going to reviews. These are the reviews for Christmas, Christmas time reviews. I make this song up as I go. I don't know what I do. Christmas reviews. Christmas reviews. Christmas reviews. Just do it. All right, I'm about to lose it with this effing costume. <laughs> oh I God. do enjoy strip good cheer. I am just strip it all off. This is killing me. <laughs> oh geez. Just show us your. Uh, uh, what the hell is the? Did the you want him to look thong. like naked Santa? Yeah. He's uh, a younger, beefier. So Santa. there's four reviews. One movie we watched. Well, one we special all watched we watched together, and then we special. had three individuals. So do we want to do the? the Let's group do one? the group one. Let's group it. Okay. So the group one I, was the Lego Star Wars Holiday Abortion. I mean, special. It wasn't bad. It was pretty. I mean, it was just not. It was startlingly bad in some parts, but it wasn't the most terrible thing I've ever seen. Does that, if that makes like any there kind was of reason for it to exist? No, it was a way to jam Ray into some things. Like that my was word, up can a we man look? Voicing her. Yes, Scott, you saw this, correct? I actually did not. Oh, that's not the oh, screen I wanted. You. There we go. Hi. Actually, you no. You didn't see it? I didn't see it. I forgot about it. I got sidetracked. I was doing other things. I completely forgot to see this. 
Wow. Well, there are some stars in this because uh, Billy D. Williams was in it. If they could only get the C-listers, though, uh, I, and I love Billy D. Williams. He's no C-lister, but they got Anthony Daniels, Kelly Marie Tran. Uh, I don't know. Was there anybody else that was actually a Star Wars person nope. in it? No, just those. What about Who? C-3PO? That Anthony that's that's yeah. Anthony Daniels. Is that the normal C-3PO? Yes, it is. Okay. Who played Ray? It doesn't even say that. Honestly. Wow, Ray doesn't even get billing. Ray must have been a man. Was wait Rose from Star Wars Episode Eight? Yeah, Rose Tico. She was in it? Kelly Marie Tran. Yes, because she's it's the best she could get for some Star Wars. Uh, she's not even in that picture that Scott is showing. Oh yes, she is. She is uh, between Chewbacca and a lightsaber. They probably don't list who played Ray because it's definitely a dude. You th- I don't know. I'm scared now to look it up to see who it is. Uh, I guess I'll do it. <laughs> who played Ray in the lo- I don't know. So essentially, as a plot, uh, Ray discovers... It, this is weird, though. This may undo a lot of Star Wars stuff because essentially people who've been saying that there's like alternate Star Wars universes, which is a terrible idea. This is kind of like a time travel alternate universe type thing where Ray gets this like crystal and she starts traveling through all of the other franchise, like not franchises, but she literally goes to all of the oh, other things. Like did they the prequels. Did, they did a Star Wars multiverse. Kind of, uh. which makes me think that they're going to retro out. Uh, they won't make it not canon, but they'll, they'll maybe get rid of the Ray thing. It's really weird, though. Let's find out who, who plays her. Yes. Uh, it is Helen Sadler. Can we get a picture? Is but she... It's not like they have to multiverse that out. I mean, oh, that story's okay. just not told anymore. They just move on to the next story. That's smash. It was, so it's weird. Um, they treated the characters very bizarre. If you're... Oh, man. I don't know. If you're a Star Wars fan, it's like a Life Day I celebration. I feeling about this. I had a bad feeling the whole time. Like I said, it's mildly amusing. There's a couple of funny jokes. The best part of it is Baby Yoda, as always. So I don't know. I w- I can't. I don't know if I can recommend this. It's not that long. It's like what, forty minutes or something? It's a little too long. The Emperor's amusing. Like some of it's funny. Some of it is funny. A lot is not. I don't know why Poe is like. Oh, I don't know what I don't even know what I can say about Poe. I'm, I'm looking looking at him here. Is he a Green Lantern in this? No, he's wearing an ugly sweater, but he sure looks like a Green Lantern. Yeah, <laughs> he's wearing a uh, a Christmas sweater. He's wearing an ugly BB-8 Christmas sweater. Yeah, there's something to that. It's a little weird. Wow, a little weird. If you can guess which direction they went with that, <laughs> you can just I'll leave it to your imagination. Um, there's a lot of weird like. Uh, they go a lot. They go real hard on uh, General Hux and uh, and Kylo Ren's Kylo abs. Kylo Ren was pretty funny. He yeah was something. He's like a fanboy. I don't know. The whole thing was weird. Yeah. What does uh, the Rotten Tomato meter thing so say? So the critic consensus: the Force isn't fully with this Lego Star Wars adventure, but <laughs> oh, it's, it's fully there. Franchise callbacks and self-aware humor. Please, fans looking to spend their holidays in a galaxy far away. Tomato meter is seventy one percent, and audience score is sixty six percent. So that's not that's not bad. I mean, it's it's, uh, it's still a fail, but yeah. it's it's average, sub average. You're better off watching the nineteen seventy eight special. Oh no, you're not. I will say that for a oh, fact. Yeah. I have seen <laughs> that special Star Wars special in nineteen seventy eight. Oh, oh, that is a disaster. <laughs> that if you, you literally want to kill yourself. After watching like a good ten minutes of it, I think it's an hour long, and it's just live action. It's a, it's mostly live action. There is the first appearance of Boba Fett, and there's a there is a cartoon. It is the worst thing ever to grace television. It could possibly be the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It definitely oh was not well received, and it still isn't well received. It's some of the worst TV you've ever come across. If you can find it, watch it. Should we do a watch along? You can only watch it once, though. If you watch it more than once, you will die. It's it's it. kind of like Medusa. Well, let's just say you could see Medusa in her prime before she gets snakes on her head, and you'd survive. Like you wouldn't freeze to stone. Yeah, perhaps but the second time you see it, you may actually turn into stone. I can't fix my head here. I've got a ball in my eye. 
Well, yeah. you should just chill out there, fella. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess if you really love Star Wars, then you should maybe watch it. Sort of. You got to really enjoy Ray because she's in it the whole time. And God, yeah. she's annoying. Yeah. She's not great. She's not great. Uh, okay. So whose review do we want to go to first? Well, Scott, would you care? There's some interesting disparity here with the fat man. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the fat man? I, the plot synopsis, I am, it sounds like a great, like a very interesting take on on the holidays. So why don't you tell us what it is? So Fat Man is Mel Gibson playing a Santa Claus who's weathered and not in a happy mood anymore because kids have been bad through the years. And the reason why Santa's able to do his business because he's actually contracted by the United States and other countries to deliver presents. And he has a certain quota he has to hit because kids aren't good anymore. He's not hitting the quota, so he needs money. So the government contracts him to build other stuff. This is kind of a side story to the main story here, which is a spoiled little rotten kid gets a lump of coal and hires a sit man to go kill Santa Claus. Hires a, a hitman, which I would assume is, and I am sh- I'm actually literally shocked by this. The guy's name is Walton Goggins, or is it? I always thought it was Walter Goggins. Am I? Am I? Have I lost my same guy? I thought it was too, but he's great in this movie. I is think that that's the guy? That's the guy though, right? He's like a yeah. real actor. Yeah, no, that's the am guy. I? That's the guy. As soon as you see him, yeah. Yep. Holy His name shit. is I thought it was Walter. Walter Goggins. I always thought it was like, is this one of those uh, weird Mandela moments? <laughs> that I could have swore it was always. I Walter. could have swore it was Walter Goggins, but the dude's name is Walton Goggins. <laughs> an intense. That actor. is an intense <laughs> name. He has some intense teeth. That picture is kind of intense. He's kind of scary looking there. Look, yeah, look. he was. Uh, he's a famous character actor who's been in a ton of stuff. Look, this yeah. is what I can tell what? you about it. It's not a great classic all-time movie it's not going to be a classic christmas movie but for what it is they know what it is and it's good mel gibson goes all in with his character it's rated r and there's a reason it's rated r it's bloody it's there's a couple moments where you're like holy crap (laughs) but you still have to laugh but what's interesting is i watched it with family and my mother who is heavy christmas loves christmas thinks that it's a sacred holiday and everything hallmark movies all that crap she enjoyed it she thought it was a fun movie is it like a bad santa where you're like oh this is like kind of a classic type it's, movie it's it, it, no it's it's an it's a fresh take on santa claus it's a very interesting take on santa but is it good enough for rewatching? How yes. how's that yes i think it's good enough for re- rewatch now Cause it's got very very dis- different reviews going on it's going to be all over the uh, place and what's going to happen is the people that think people are going to see this as like anti-christmas they're going to hate it and the people that accept it and see what it is are going to love it and i enjoyed the hell out of it was it worth the six dollars to rent nah i may have uh, waited for three dollars or wait until it's free but it's definitely worth the watch i mean i see a there's a picture on on rotten tomatoes where my word, uh, what's his name? Mel Gibson looks like a haunted Santa. Like his eyes are like steel gray blue, and his beard is just my. He's he's my, weathered, my. and and it's and it's funny because like there's parts of the movie where like he's under his sleigh and removing like boards that have like bullet holes in it because like kids are shooting up into the sky while he's delivering presents. Is it kids <laughs> or is it uh? Some you know, he says he says some Al Qaeda. He says no. He says some kids with a deer rifle just shooting up into the sky. He comes back like he comes back Christmas morning and he's like limping in. He has a bullet hole that he has to patch up. And yeah, it's it's you know because there's some kids that were just shooting up into the sky because that's just kind of that's just kind of how the world got. He's his mm. naughty list is longer than the good list. That's well, so abs- for sure. What is Rotten Tomato saying? Uh, the critic consensus is Fat Man takes a surprisingly serious approach to a potentially Chris twist on the Santa Claus legend, aiming for edgy, but bo- mostly missing the mark. Tomato meter is 45%, but the audience score, with a whopping 27 reviews, is 81%. So people seem to like it. Sort yeah, of. people seem to dig it. It's it's a fun movie. I mean, and, and that's just what it is. It's a fun, bloody movie. Don't watch it with the whole family. Put your kids to bed. 
watch it with a group of people. It's not going to be one that you're going to sit there and watch by yourself. But, I mean, if you're having a bunch of people over, it's a fun movie to watch. I don't even understand why it's called Fat Man. Uh, he's he's fat. not fat. Because he's the fat man. Because and, he, but, and he's referred to as Fat Man a few times in the movie. But he's not fat. Well, he is chubby. He is larger. He's not. He's not the big, oversized, jovial Santa that we know, come to know and love. But so you're saying he's more like that. He's got a gut fit. on him. It's like it's like dad gut. Or you mean he's more like that? You know, stunningly handsome and uh, mysterious. He's got, uh, he's got he's Santa got, that you might see if you were to watch a Christmas Chronicle two with glorious per- Kurt Russell. Yeah, perhaps the most glorious of beards. Yes, I'll give you that. Beard? Oh my gosh, it has, has to be. I mean, he, Kurt Russell is just the most glorious of. Have you ever never seen him in the thing where he has a glorious beard and that as well? The man could have one of the most glorious beards. Okay, so they both have dad bod, is what we're saying. No, uh, Kurt Russell makes in the first one he makes a joke about it about how Bill Burr's put on like eighty pounds. He's like his gut is like up top, like above his belt, like it, it's all chest gut. <laughs> it's weird. That's, it is weird. <laughs> He's a fit. <laughs> bad ass Santa. The fans don't. Oh my god, the fans don't like this one. Yeah, I am. I I'm only stunned. saw the first one. I got. I guess I got to watch this one. So I, this one does take a different take. So the first one was more of like kind of your typical uh, Christmas movie where you know people lose faith in Christmas and they have to like bring the faith back or what have you. And it's about like the kids. This one is is more about like the folklore of Santa and really delves into like other characters and i think maybe that's where people have a disconnect because it it has a, the story is kind of about uh bells nickel who's like a, one of those santa's santa's helpers that, that screws things up wait wasn't that the the communicator in the original star trek the bells Nick, nickel no oh no sorry well, the, that was nicole the, the kid who plays bells nickel is a little i don't know if i'm gonna say off-putting but his oh, name's Julian he Dennison. In, um, he's in Deadpool, Deadpool. too. Yeah, he's yeah. a fat Australian kid. Yeah, I mean, he's not bad. I don't know. Like, His it's kind of weird. Tiny. Yeah, he's got this tiny face and a big fat body. Like, I don't know. The kid's a little weird. I, I don't know if I would have gone with him. And he also, this is not a shocker, but plays like he's he's an elf, but he's a human. There's like a whole weird thing going on there. Is he Australian in this? Yeah, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't know how to change his accent. He just has the <laughs> same accent he always does. And the kid from... Uh, the babysitter's in it too. Judah Lewis, he plays Teddy. Yeah, people were complaining that he's not in it enough. You know who is in it? Tyrese Gibson. Uh, yeah, he's and he's bro. not doing Fast and the Furious. And Kimberly Williams Paisley, who is uh, from Father of the Bride. If you didn't know that, what is that? It's a famous movie with uh, Steve Martin from years ago. Like literally one of the most famous movies ever made. How do you not know what that is? Sure. And Goldie Hawn gets a much bigger role as Mrs. Claus in this, who I thought she was, it was nice to see her. Her hair's kind of funny if you see the picture of it. Her hair is like an ornament. It's kind of weird. Wasn't like she only like a quick like appearance in the last movie or something? Oh, she only made the last scene. She wasn't even in it. Uh, yeah, she was like the teaser. Yeah, she was like a teaser for, uh, for a sequel. It's impossible! I, <clears throat> I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. I, I don't know why people wouldn't like it other than that kid was a little weird and annoying. Why did you tell us what the Rotten Tomato meter says? Oh, Jesus. You scumbag. I gotta already. You, didn't you already go over it? I don't believe I did. I just uh, said, like, I'm shocked that the tomato meter is inverted oh the way it is. Uh, tomato so meter difficult. is 72%, and the audience score is 57%. Yeah, the audience doesn't seem to like it. Probably because it's not as traditional as the first movie. What does it say? The critic consensus, while it misses some of the magic of the original, The Christmas Chronicle 2 serves up a sweet second helping of holiday cheer that makes most of its marvelously wa- match leads. What? Is that English at the it, end there? It makes the most of its marvelously match leads. Okay. Say that three times fast. Marvelously <clears throat> match leads. Marvelously match leads. Marvelously match leads. The kid did. Uh, the, one of the kids who's in it too is actually the kid from The Witches, Me by the way. Helpy. So helpy. I, I did it. You couldn't do that three times. You didn't say the whole thing. You just said the last three words. Oh, the whole. Oh, then no, fuck that. 
<laughs> so I, I recommend it. I thought it was fun and uh, decent, so you should check it out. You know what's better, though? No, because clearly no one likes this. Holiday Christmas movies that are romantic comedies. No one likes this girl. Why do they keep pushing her in Hollywood? That, what do you mean? They don't really, she hasn't been in anything other than like. A uh, bunch of crappy movies. The dude from, what's his, what's her, uh, the dude from American Horror Story loves her. Oh, wow. Uh, Isn't she? She was dating him for a long time. Evan Peters? No. No, that's a whole different story where oh, she beat Ryan him. Ryan Murphy. Yeah, Ryan Murphy really likes this girl. Yeah. Because she's Julia Roberts' well, niece or some nonsense. What movie yeah, is she, it? he's um, Eric Roberts' daughter. And she is spouse abuser or just an abuser. Um, what Allegedly movie is this abuser. That we about? Stop putting words in my mouth. She's like doob. baby Amber Heard. She's, I, I don't know, I've heard she put him in the hospital. Although, Johnny, yeah, she's baby Amber Heard. Maybe they'll get together and they'll smash some. I, I can't tell. Is she more attractive than Amber Heard? Yes. Yeah. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, That's guys, a tough what one. movie are we talking about? Holidays. We told you. We said holiday. Holiday. It's a brand, well, not brand new. It came out in October, weirdly enough. What? Yeah, October 28th. But it's a holiday movie. Yeah, it's a Christmas romantic comedy starring Emma Roberts and Luke Bracey. Oh, we is, didn't tell you who was starring. So, yeah, Emma Roberts, who is famous. Is she, besides, was she in Glee? No. No, Emma she's Roberts just is from, not in Glee. She's in what is she most famous story. for besides that? Um, movie wise, just being the daughter of uh, Eric Roberts. Uh, what a, what Why don't movies? you she look at the movie? The hunt she was in there for, for a couple seconds. She was in. There uh, tells you the top movies that Black she's Coat's in. Daughter. It? Yeah, that's a great movie. I like that. Palo Alto. We are who we are now. I've never heard of any of these things. <laughs> Those are her highest rated movies, but. Uh, we're the Millers. She was in We're the Millers. Yeah, that's right. She was in Empire Scream 4. Scream 4. We're the Millers. Well, that's probably one that she was kind of famous for. Yeah. Uh, Nancy Drew. Ah, uh, yes. That's probably a thing. Yeah, that's really it. Well, well since you know she was on Jimmy about. Kimmel. <laughs> she, Three times. So what is this about? Because it says, who's your perfect plus one? It looks kind of sexy. She's doing like the little lip bite thing there. She's like, oh. Mm. Oh yeah, no. They, she they do the is things. a evil bee. What's happening so. below the screen there? Basically, they set her up. It's they do two opening uh, scenes with Emma Roberts and Luke Bracey. Emma <laughs> Roberts is the <laughs> bitch who is alone, and the family's like, "Why don't you have anybody during the holidays?" And then the Luke Bracey guy, who is gorgeous and Australian, goes with a crazy girl to the family, and then gets sucked off in her bed. And then she's like, "It's okay to sw uh, come in my mouth, but it's not okay to have a Christmas sweater or something." What like that. are you it was talking insane. about? Why are you, what are you what talking about? Movie did you watch here? And then they go. Is and this rated meet, R? They, yeah, it is rated R. Oh, jeez. They go and meet at a mall, or is it PG thirteen? Let's confirm. It's um, it's PG thirteen. It's R. I don't know what it is. <laughs> you are useless. It's something. What movie did it's you watch? Something. Do you know what movie you watched? Holland. No, I I really enjoyed it. Honestly. Oh jeez. They meet in a mall and they're like, oh, you know what's really annoying? Having our families bother us why we're not with someone during the holidays uh, so then they have an agreement that they're each other's plus ones for every holidays which oh, is insane this is so dumb because then it gets so over the top that they're going out for st patrick's day and labor day whoever did they, they go so out for stupid. arbor day I th not arbor day no damn it every other made-up holiday you can think of and then of course they start to get feelings for each other and this then something happens no. and then there's a reconciliation and a big speech. Like, what it's was the thing that, that broke them up in it? What was the thing that happened that they were like, we can't be together? Um, Before they get they, back together in the end. Yeah, what's the thing? They got invited to their brother's wedding, and he didn't want to go with her. He wanted to bring a separate date because he was scared of the commitment. Mm. And then, oh, that's scared of that commitment. That's that's the one. That's what it does. That's what it does. <laughs> Cheers to whatever that is. Fake breakup. Oh, this sounds like such a garbage movie. Yes. So it, it, it's so garbage that the the critics. It's a rate very it, stereotypical it's romantic. Forty four percent and forty one percent from the audience, with four hundred forty one reviews. So the they critic, hated it. The critic consensus: holiday self aware approach to rom com formula is refreshing, but it's offset by its questionable premise and unnecessarily vulgar jokes. Oh, just like you. Sucks. You were right. You did. You said they were. You gave us a joke that was. Uh, 
unusually or unnecessarily vulgar. What is kind of funny, it, they ha how they mention it's self-aware, they kind of call out what's wrong with rom-coms. Like they reference rom-coms and they do the exact thing they reference. That sounds dumb. So you it's a little, it's like, oh, that's like funny. It. And then they do the same thing they just referenced. I would recommend it if you like rom-coms and Christmas stuff, though. I it like took it. Our gift. They are taking our gerbs. I don't yes. know how, but somehow I feel like Emma Roberts just took my job. I also really like that Luke, Luke Bracy guy. Of course, he likes the dude of better than he, he likes the girl. The dude who's never acted in anything. He's so good. Oh my God, you are so. Uh... No, he was in Hacksaw Ridge. Which you never saw. I did not. But you're going to go see it now because you're a new um, fan. Oh, me, him, her. That sounds like a movie. Oh, that watch. sounds like something no one should see. That sounds like an Elliot movie. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Or Ellen. Oh, uh, whichever you go with. One of the pages. We're her brother? Turn, we're going to turn brother? the page on that. Yes, let's turn the page, Scott. I think we've had enough holiday cheer. We have. I've had enough eggnog to last me a lifetime. That's Wait, it. That was all of them? The Dragon Ball Z holiday special oh, doesn't come out until next year. Son of a garbage pipe. I, that's all the that's all the videos, right? That's all the movies. Yeah, that's it. Oh my god. No, yeah, god. Be good. No, God, please, no. No! I, I, I'm you know no. what? I'm glad this is over. I'm having enough of this effing costume. How much oh, ball sweat awesome. do you have from that? I'm so glad I'll never have to. Actually, no. Ghillie suits are comfortable. They're all mesh. It's just, I mean, it's like, just it's not. Scott's of, not comfortable. A whole comfortable. bunch of hemp on it. It's just, it, you're not supposed to wear it with your effing headphones, whereas yank it at you the whole goddamn time. So anyway, if you like what you heard here this week, head on over to orc underscore you at Instagram. Head on over to facebook.com slash our reviews will kill you. If you're not watching us on YouTube, check us out at youtube.com slash our reviews will kill you. And if you want to listen to us in the car or on the road or wherever you may be, you can catch our podcast on iTunes, Google Play, which doesn't exist anymore. I'm still doing that. Amazon Play, Stitcher, Spotify. And of course, you can find all of this great stuff over at our reviews will kill you.com slash links. And if you need some Christmas shopping still, go over to rviewswillkillyou.com slash store to check out the store, and you can find some great fun things there. Absolutely. Get your shirts in time for Christmas well, and maybe some hats and some other point. fun things. But they will get there sooner or later. So be sure to like and subscribe, and just make sure that you share. Sharing is caring. This is the season of giving. There's nothing better you can give us for a gift than additional subscribers to our YouTube show. At least that's what I would say. And uh, although we do our podcast, maybe we'll make some announcements. Who knows? But we really do thank you for listening. And uh, we'll be sure to get you out as many podcasts before the end of the year as we possibly can. Scott looks like a tree pirate. I don't know how he pulled that off. I'm done. But uh, from all of us here... And our views will kill you to all of y'all at home. Have a very merry, happy, holla Christmas day. Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, all the holidays. The hugest of holidays. We love y'all.